Steven, hi Alex. Happy 10th anniversary, Minecraft. Oh my god, look at that cake. Today I'm gonna be playing a map. Oh, he's looking at me! The academy looks gorgeous. Come on, little guy. Hey guys, happy 10th anniversary, Minecraft. Today I'm gonna be playing a map that is free and can be found on all versions of Minecraft in the Minecraft store or just the store. <laughs> so, you just start off here? Okay. Do these buttons do anything? Or are they just de decor? They don't do anything. Okay, now. So, I am going... Oh, whoa! These are so cool. Hang on, I, I need to get a look, good look at this. Oh my god, it has ten all over it. And it's gold. Okay, here we go! <laughs> oh, I see, I see a tree. May 10th, 2009, pre-alpha. That was when I was born. 2009. Oh, alpha Halloween update, June 3rd. Oh, little well, beta adventure update. I was born in 2009. Pretty scary update. Ooh. Redstone and horses update. Um... The update that changed the world, Bountiful Update 2013. Combat Frostburn Update. Okay. I think 2016 was when I started to play. Exploration Update 2016. World of Color Update 2017. Come to think of it, I haven't been playing Minecraft for too long. And the Aquatic Update. This one I remember just like just like that it's the latest one okay we're at some vault oh there's a giant chest okay i was right into the vault <laughs> so welcome to the vault here you will find every block in minecraft safely under lock and key okay i'm not really gonna bother to read that it's just saying it's high tech and super six digit code, which you'll never guess. And he forgot and they're off. He's getting awfully forgetful. So he's going to write it down. There are 12 pages. Hmm? 17. Uh -huh. 17, 5, 0, 5, 0, 9. And there are numbers. Hang on. Do I have to type it in that order? Seven, zero, five, zero, nine. Yay! We opened the vault. Whoa. These are every single block in Minecraft. Endstone. Uh, what is this? Endstone bricks, I meant. That's a... Fire, lava, magma block, glowstone. All the ores, diamond, emerald. If I had a pickaxe right now, I would just like break it. All of this. I would be rich. <laughs> uh, lapis lazu, redstone. I forget what that's called. Quartz ore? Nether quartz ore. Okay. Netherrack, obsidian, prismarine. And we got an entrance over there. Hang on. Plants. We got lots of plants. Look at all these plants. Coral, part of the aquatic update. <laughs> Seaweed. Wait, is, is, is that? Uh, is that? I think that's kelp. I think I got the name wrong. Yep, I got the name totes wrong. It was kelp. Okay, I'm gonna go through one of these entrances. I'm noticing because, hmm, is that dried coral? Dried coral fan. Hmm. What is that? Coarse plant. Hang on. Coarse plants are naturally generated on the outer islands of the, the end. They can be grown from coarse flowers. If a coarse plant 
branches off while it's growing. Another chorus flower will grow at the top of the growth. A chorus plant will drop zero to one chorus fruit when broken. Chorus plants will break automatically if the block supporting it is broken. Okay. And I'm guessing that is the chorus flower? Yep, that's a chorus flower. Oh, cocoa -co 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 pod? Okay. And we got lots and lots of more plants. Okay, I'm gonna go through one of the entrances now. Wait, does it continue upstairs? I think it does. Oh my goodness, yes it does. Oh my god, look at that cake. Look at that cock, 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 cock. 10th anniversary. Sponge, cauldron, chest. Lots of things. Wait. Oh my god, that says 10 years. That's so cute. And then... I'm guessing this is all redstone. Mechan mechanisms. Minecraft a hisser is history. Oh, okay, then it just does like gives you another like little maze. Oh my god! Minecon was held at Disneyland? Okay. And 2018 Whoa, that's a lot of people. 74 million active players and 144 million scales that's a lot 144 million oh my god we got lots of signs about history okay come on let's go through the entrance wait is that, i think i see more blocks up there what's up there -na 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 manufactured block oh my goodness ah I almost fell, and I think I would have died. <laughs> okay, let's go to the, one of the entrances. I'm gonna go to that one. Okay, we got blocks. Whoa! Bime domes? Okay, what is that? What, what is that? Oh, wait, I see it. Oh, it's, okay. I think I already have an idea from a quick scan. Yeah. Oh, um. Oh, that was what the little zigzag inside was for. See? Dun, dun, dun. Now I have to, I think, go to that. And then that. Yes! I'm guessing... Um... Hang on, I'm getting a little forgetful now. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I almost fell. Uh... Mmm... No! Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Was it the cactus? No, it's not the cactus. Okay, I just got back to here, and I'm gonna. I think I t made a totally weird mistake when I jumped to the cactus. The the lonely cactus. <laughs> Whew! I almost missed that. I wasn't even supposed to jump there. I was supposed to jump over there. And then right here. Okay, I don't think it's any of these. I'm gonna go for that. Yes! Um, I'm guessing that. Yay! Uh, this. This. And I'm guessing this. Yes! Okay, I would have been so mad if we ended up falling down. <laughs> to the vault. I'm not stepping on there yet. I'm going up here. Dun -na 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 -dun -na 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 -na. We're at the bime domes. 
Okay. Oh, what a little village! Oh, hang on. What's this? A diamond shovel. At wait, hang on. That's can break dandelion, poppy, carrot, lily pad, nether wart, mushroom, melon, and sunflower, chorus, flower, chorus, plant, and <laughs> pea root. Okay, that's a lot. Plants can't live without them. There's a reward waiting for any traveler who can find these ones. Poppy, and then I think it's everything that the diamond shovel had. This handy shovel will help you harvest. P.S. If you're looking for plants from another dimension, why not have a swim in the village fountain? Okay. I'm not going to go there yet, just yet. Okay, so I don't need that. Don't need that because I just finished it. And I don't think I need that. Okay. Well, wait, I need the adventuring time so I can figure out what I need. Okay, that's adventuring time. This is the map, and I am, oh, hang. I am that white point at the very top. <laughs> okay, whatever, let's go. Uh, oh, I need carrots, okay, okay, I need carrots. I didn't see any potatoes, so I don't think I need potatoes. Let's just get rid of those. Beetroot. Got seeds. Where'd my beetroot go? I need my beetroot. <laughs> there we go. The beetroot just showed up. Okay, I have one now. <laughs> okay, there are more domes. Oh, melon! 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 Uh, I was just Tarzan there. I just climbed the vines. Okay, I only need one... Uh, cow beans, get out of here. I don't need the, or cocoa beans. <laughs> the jungle. Jungles are uncommon temperate and lush tropical vines. They are hilly and covered in shrubbery, making them difficult to traverse. Yeah, I can tell. Featuring both large and small jungle trees, vines hang from the leaves and trunks of trees. If you decide to brave the jungle, you might stumble upon a jungle pyramid. Melons and coca cocoa beans can be found growing throughout the jungles. And keep keep an eye out for the jungle reticence. And jungles are the only biome where ocelots and pears can spawn. I have already know pretty much all about that. But good to know. Some, no. <laughs> good to know. Okay, um, I'm being Tarzan. I'm being Tarzan. Ah! Okay. Oh, wait. I need a poppy and a dandelion, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, do I need anything from the swamp? Oh, wait. I need a lily pad. Oh, and then there's one staring at me right in the face. No, I don't need the vault. Wait, why, am I, why do I even have the vault? Um... Okay, I need to find mushrooms and a rose bush. I'll save the nether wart and the things from the other dimensions for later. Oh, I see a mushroom. I see a mushroom. Oh, the dark forests. These are like where only dark oak trees grow. And they spawn so close together that the forest seems dark. And they're dark enough for mobs to spawn. Oh, I, I have four mushrooms. Okay, I, I, no, I, need, I need a mushroom. I need a mushroom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Uh, with it sure is dark in here. With the thick canopy of leaves, dark forts are a part of the temperate and lush biome family. As the dark oak trees generate so closely together, it becomes dark enough for hostile mobs to spawn during the day. Huge mushrooms can grow among the dark oaks. Okay, for some reason, I thought they were. Mushroom trees. <laughs> They're mushrooms. <laughs> They're just giant mushrooms. There's an extremely rare chance that a woodland mansion will gener generate within a dark forest. This is the only biome that woodland mansions can appear in. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I think that's just your typical normal forest. Many of us probably know about that. Because this is like 
one of the things you see right away. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, just going to put all of these in my inventory because I don't need them. It's just the normal forest. Yeah, wolves can rarely spawn in this forest biome. But, um, and yeah. It's pretty easy. Like, the forest is, like, really easy. It's, like, the first thing you can normally see when you spawn. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's something else. But, yeah. Okay. I think I got an... Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, that's a swamp. Oh, wait. I was already there. Pfft. I was all right. Oh, and that's the bridge forest where you can only find bridge wood. Here you can... It's just like all bridge. No oak. No others. Okay, let's go in the fountain. Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole. I... I, I, I. Wee! Boom. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Did it, Mojang. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, that's the end and the nether. Okay, I, I don't want to die, so. Hot, 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 So I need to find another ward in here. Oh, and there's a chest. This is probably the book, right? Yep. The nether. The nether is a molten hell-like dimension that that is full of fire, lava, and dangerous mobs. In order to travel to the nether, you must construct a nether portal in the overworld. The terrain of the nether is most is almost made in, is almost entirely made up of netherrack and vast expanses expanses I think it's exp expanses of lava. Clusters of glowstone dangle from the ceiling and mushrooms grow abundantly on the ground. So sand and dangerous patches of floating gravel will also generate throughout the nether. Near the oceans of lava, you can find patches of magma blocks. Nether fortresses are the nether's only naturally generated structures. While they provide valuable lo loot, be careful as they are the only place where blazes and with a skeleton spawn. Feel like mining? Nether quartz can be found scattered around the nether rock. It is the only mineral ore, ore that can be found in the nether. Traveling through the nether may be dangerous, but it is a great way for fast travel. For every block you travel in the nether, you travel eight blocks in the overworld. I don't really get what that means. Like, there's a block. Done. I traveled eight blocks, blocks up there. I don't really know about that. Hmm? Did I just see some nether warts? I see some! Hello! Okay, uh, here you go. I don't, I don't need that many. Okay, let's go back. Ow! <laughs> okay, I don't want to fall. Okay, on to the end. I don't know that much about the nether nor the end because I barely go into those areas. Okay, the end. Okay, six pages. It may be the end, but it isn't the end. Yeah, I think I know what it means. Like, in the storybook, you know, it says, like, the end. I don't think it means like that. The end is a dark space-like dimension floating in the void. It can be accessed by entering an end gateway portal found in strongholds. The End Central Island serves as the main platform for your boss fight with the Ender Dragon. Large obsidian pillars and and end crystals generate naturally on the Central Island. There is no way to exit the End unless you die or defeat the Ender Dragon. Planning on making the End your home? If you place a bed, it will create an explosion that is 25% stronger than TNT. Yikes. Yeah, I haven't really done that before, <laughs> so I don't know. Other than the Ender Dragon, Endermen are the only other residents of the End's main island. And then, nothing. Okay. Oh, there's coarse flowers and coarse fruits. Oh. Shulkers. It's raining! I 
I have collected all the flowers and completed the CTM. There's a chest by the flower display with your reward. Okay. Oh, no. Do I have to climb the staircase? This is gonna be a while. Okay, this might be faster than I thought. That was fast. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't want these chorus fruits. Uh, does anyone want them? Oh, I'm gonna eat these. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, hang on. I might have had you. Okay, no. Cool, I'm, I'm just gonna eat the rest. Huh? <laughs> I just got teleported in the swamp. Okay, I don't need that. That, 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 that. I don't need any of these now. The poppy looks so weird now. Sorry, mushroom, you're being overwhelmed. Oh, anniversary golden sword, cool. I'm pretty sure I saw some more. I'm going to take this diamond shovel. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't need that anymore. I think there's more. Oh, yeah, there are more domes. Oh, 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 no. Uh, I think I just trapped myself. Okay, uh, let's go to the next dome. Because I think there's another dome. Okay, how am I supposed to get over there? Oh, I just noticed this ladder. Okay. Oh, and then do I take this? <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, I'm back up here, and I'm not going to fall down again. And I'm going to go to this one. I might do one more of these biome things, because I looked, and there are five of them. So I'll do the one over there, and... Okay, I'm, I'm going to drop. Okay, oh, there's a chest. Okay, what's in this... What does this one have in store for me? Oh, Taja, okay. It's just more forests. I'm a little bit lost. Can I have some help? <laughs> okay, there's a lot here as well, so I think I'll go to the next section. Whoa, how am I supposed to get over there? Okay, I'm gonna die again. Ah! And... How did I not die? I didn't even lose any health. Okay, let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's just get out of here. And go to the next one. Uh, let me up, please. <laughs> uh, let me up. I just want to show some more. Oh my goodness, just, 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 just. Thank you. Oh, more. Okay, we're back here. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Oh. Uh. I think I'll just go to the... Okay, it's not working, so I guess I'll just... No, and I fall right away, but... Okay, at least I'm back at the vault. Okay, I think I'm gonna go across from this one. Ten years of Minecraft. <laughs> oh, this is where we started. 
Whoa. We got zombie heads, pig heads, and Steve. The mob gardens. Headed to the mob, go mob gardens, you'll need to solve the riddle of the eggs first. <laughs> Three of these eggs contain levers which open the gate to the mob gardens. It's up to you to find out which. Here's some clues to get you started. Okay, I know a lot about these. I think I'll be able to figure them out. One, play a jingle and I'll, jingle and I'll flap and wriggle, but don't feed me chocolate for it's my kind of toxic. A parrot. Parrots always play a... Whenever you play a jukebox, and not a juice box, just to be clear, <laughs> they will start to fly and play. But if you feed them a cookie, they will die instantly. Ah! And I see its egg. This is what the parrot egg is. It's green with red spots. Of course, though, I had to fall into the water. Boom! Okay, next. Roses are red, violets are blue. Give me a hug and I'll hug you back. Boom. Creeper? I think this is a creeper because creepers are like, I think, because creepers are like the only um, mob that explode. Hang on, let's just look at the last one. They travel in hauntings and they're most certainly daunting. These tall chaps will disappear in a snap. Endermen, endermen disappear and yeah, okay. I always get confused which one the Enderman egg because like there are so many different there's so there's so many black ones. Okay, that's the spider. I'm pretty sure that one's the spider. Is that the Enderman? Well the Enderman's black egg does look pretty much all black, so I think this might be the Enderman. Yep, this is the Enderman. Boom. Okay, now I just need to find the creeper. Cre oh, creeper! Creeper, where are you? Oh, wait. I can get a good look from here. Here we... There's the creeper. I'm, like, right next to it. A creeper's egg is black spots and a green egg. Boom. Boom! Lickety split. Okay, let's go. I want to go inside. I want to go. I want to go. Wee! The gate has been opened. The mob gardens look absolutely crazy. Let's go. Ouch. Oh, goodness. Oh, I almost stepped on that. I'm not going back to the vault. What? They're so big! We got fish, fish, fish. Turtles. Oh my goodness. <gasps> parrots! I need to read about these parrots. If you don't know, I love birds. So obviously I need it. Hi, big guy. Oh my. Oh, he's looking at me! Oh my god. Hi. Parrots are brightly colored, tameable birds found spawning naturally in the jungle. Bimes. Parrots come in five different color variations. Red, which is this one right here. Green, blue, seen, and gray. They will gather around other mobs, both pass passive and hostile. They will also imitate the idle sounds of the hostile mobs and certain neutral mobs that are within 20 blocks of them. You can feed them seeds to tame them. Unlike other tamed animals, they cannot be bred. Once tamed... Oh, they can't be bred? Oh. Once tamed, parrots can sit, follow you around, or sit on your shoulder. You can have two parrots sitting on your shoulder at once. I already know that. Isn't that adorable? They also love to listen to music. If you play a music disc on a disc on a jukebox within three blocks of them, they'll wiggle and dance. Boom! I told you. Parrots are bright. Oh wait, wait, wait. While you can feed them seeds, please don't feed them cookies. Chocolate is deadly to parrots. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Attempting to feed a parrot a cookie will instantly kill the parrot when drop. Kill the parrot. When killed, parrots will drop. 
One to three feathers. Okay. I'm, I don't like it. I don't like it that these guys have to die. I don't like it. Okay, we have so many animals. I'm not going to be able to show them. There's so many, I can't show all of them. A skeleton horse. Oh, and the villagers. I really thought that was a giant enderman. Oh, we got more animals here. Wait, what just died? What just died over there? Something just died. Oh, that's a pufferfish. That's so cute. Something died over here. Dolphin. No. Hey, puffer. Puffy. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. We got llamas. Happy llama sad llama. Totally rad <laughs> Uh, we got wolves. Okay, what's here? I, I can't see. Uh, there's nothing here. Okay, that's supposed to be, this is supposed to be a case spider. And I'm just guessing that hostile mobs are over here. Where are all, where are they, where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Are they tiny? No. Well, that shulker guy's huge. Hey, are there under... Oh, yeah, guardians. Okay, I don't know where they all are. Whoa, phantoms. I'm pretty sure that a wither was supposed to be here. Yep. Hang on, I'm gonna read this. Yikes, what was that sound? The wither is an undead boss m mob that can be summoned by players. It is created by placing four blocks of soul sand in a T-shape and placing three wither skeletons on top. Three wither skeleton skulls on top. Correction. Correction. Be careful. When spawned, the wither is invulnerable. And it it becomes vulnerable after 10 seconds. But it will create a, large ex a very large explosion that can deal up to 68 hearts of damage to nearby blocks, players, and mobs. This explosion is a complete accompanied by a loud terrifying sound that can be heard from across the entire map that's a that's a long way the wither fires explosive projectiles called wither skulls if a player or mob is struck by a wither skull it will inflict the wither effect the wither has 300 to 60 300 to 600 health when it drops below when it drops below half health it will gain wither armor becoming immune to projectile damage. On Bedrock Edition, when it reaches half health, it will spawn multiple wither skeletons, dash towards its target, and begin firing more wither skulls. The wither is immune to fire, lava, and drowning damage. It can also cannot, it also cannot be suffocated as it breaks any blocks that it touches. When killed, the wither will drop a nether star and 500 experience. Oh, not 550. That's a lot of experience. Okay. Okay. On to the next one. I don't see many of the bad guys. Well, except for that guy up there. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened, but... Yeah. They're just missing. Okay. On to the next one, if I can find the exit. Oh, wow. Well. The pig is staring right at my face, saying that the entrance and exit is right in front of me. Wait, is that an ender? That's an ender dragon egg. I'm touching it. Ender. Ender. No! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the warden, please. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next area. Wait, is there a button for me to just return straight to the vault? Yeah. There we go. It worked. Okay, next I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I just stepped in some soul sand. -na -na -na. Oh. What's this one? 
Wow. Code Translator and the Academy. Oh, on your way to the Academy, you'll first you'll need to solve these galactic riddle, riddles. You can press the button to get a better view. When you think you've worked it out, head to the giant enchanting table and pull the levers above the two correct items. Hint, you might find the galactic guide useful in your translations. I don't like this. I'm not liking this. Okay, what's the button? Whoa! Okay, I've tele been teleported up here. Okay. Um. I. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go into the giant crafting table. The academy looks gorgeous. Whee! Whoa. Okay, this is gives me a hint this is gonna be hard. No. Enchanting and a book? No. Okay, I've been doing a few combinations for some time and I think I finally figured it out. A book, cause in a crafting table, a book and a paper. Yes, I got it. Galactic alphabet. So, oh, I just ran right into the entrance. -na 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 -na. We got a giant book. Wait, hang on. I think I just saw something. Let's just say another entrance. Okay. -na 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 the academy oh I, I don't even have to bother to open that I'm gonna go straight down the hall whoa hi what are you a robot. Hmm? What's this? Oh my god! It's a robot. A robot's robot controller? These little fellows are the Education Edition Code Builder robots. They don't normally live in this Minecraft platform, but since it's a special occasion, they have made a special visit. These ro the robots are controlled by the blocks they are walking on. The direction of the arrows shows which direction the robot will move next. You can break and rotate the green arrows using the pickaxe, but you cannot break the magenta arrows. It is your task to help guide the robots toward the gold block, which will turn to diamond when completed. Complete all four puzzles for your reward. Okay. Uh, okay, I need to make, I know where I need to, um, oh, this is going to be a while to break. Oh, dang it. What? What happened? Hang on. I'm going to wait for you to get closer. There. Start breaking. Oh, pfft. How am I supposed to reset it? Is that how? Yeah, that's how you reset it. The button. Hang on. There. Now let's try it. So that's how you reset it. It will spawn at the red. Okay, let's wait. Come on, robot. Yay! You did it, you little guy. Okay, next one. Ouch. I think I have figured it out. It's going on circles over there, so. Whoa. 
yeah. So then I need, when it goes here, I need it. Yes! Okay, I don't want you to go that way. Okay, I have time because now it's going to go all the way around again. Yeah. Yes! Yay! Okay, I'm getting good. I'm getting good at this. Okay, so I think I can already see a major thing I need to fix. There. And then here I need to make it the right way. Okay, this axe is taking forever. This isn't even a pickaxe, it's an axe. Do I have to go the opposite direction? Yeah. Then. This needs to be facing this way. And this needs to be facing this way as well. And this needs to be facing the wh where I was just. Okay, this is such a slow pickaxe. Ready. Okay, let's press the button. See if it worked. Here it goes. Yeah, it's going. Come on, little guy. Yay! I did it! Yay! Okay, next one. Oh, pff, this is easy. I feel like these top ones were the easy ones and those down ones were the harder ones. Wait, other way or else it's not going to work. There. Just press the button and let it go. This is, wasn't a super easy one. Ding, ding, ding. I've completed the robot minigame has appeared. A chest has appeared with your prize. Oh, is this it? No, this is it. Wow, anniversary golden bow. Something tells me I'm going to need these later. Okay, let's put that up there. I don't need those anymore, but I'll keep them with me just in case. Okay, so now I have a sword and a bow. Don't tell me there's a fight coming. Okay, what's this one? Projects in more than... 30 countries worldwide, more than 1,000 participants in workshops, over $6 million raised by block by block. Hmm? Okay, what is this? Block by block began in 2012 with the radical idea of integrating the computer game Minecraft into public space, planning to get community members more involved. A collaboration, collaboration between Mojang... Microsoft and UA, UNH Habitat Hab, UN Habitat Block by Block allows everyone to have a say in the design of their local public space by using Minecraft as a collaborative design tool. After a project location is selected, a three-day workshop is held where community members share and discuss different ideas before building them into Minecraft. These Minecraft designs are then passed on to the architects and local authorities who, with the help of Block by Block, build the real world, pub world public space based on the Minecraft model. Cool. Some of the Block by Block pro project locations. Okay. Okay, I think we're done that lesson. But there are some stairs, so I'm gonna go up. Okay, and what are the stairs for? Okay, I think that's all for the academy, or is there more? 
I don't know if that's all, so I might... I think that is, though. I'm getting a little nervous with these... With the bow and the sword. Is there a fight coming later? Oh, we got some... Oh, I think this is, like, learning stuff. Yeah, art design. History culture. Oh, pickaxe! Ah! Uh, apples. Is math? Math? Are you serious? <laughs> Language arts. Computer science. What? Coding. Okay, this is cool. But now I think it's time to move on to the next. The f last, the final one. I'm a bit nervous because I think there's a fight coming later. I think in the mob gardens, I think there's something I'm supposed to get. Over there. I think there's something I need to get over there, but I don't know what. Or maybe this is just for, like, fun. I don't know. Okay, on to the next one, which I think is a cross. How am I not taking any damage from these falls? Time. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm bent. Time for the last and final one. I. Oh, wait. I just noticed. There are diamonds up there. Okay, if I was literally in survival and I had a diamond pick, I would literally, or an iron pick, yeah, probably an iron pick, I would just go up there and break every single one up there. Okay, I don't need that stuff. Anniversary golden sword. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Ten years of Minecraft. I have to admit, those blocks look so cool. Oh no, don't tell me it's redstone. It's redstone. Uh, there's no chest. So Wait, there's a lever. Is this supposed to be like a redstone circuit? Uh, is that an eight? Wait, hang on. Um, that's a five or an S. I think it's a five. Or is it an S? I think it's... I don't know now. Hang on. Five and S. <laughs> I think it's a five. Either, I think it's a five. I don't know. It's in an S or a five. I'm going with S, actually. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it just lit up. Oh, so did this one. This is an E. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one. Nice. Oh, okay. I think that's every all the levers I need to find. And I think I might have found out a pow pattern here. At each of the levers... In each of the areas for the levers. And there's a lever staring at me right in the face. And there's one over there. I think that where the levers are at these like redstone generator thingies. I have no clue what they are. That's another. There's another. Am I, I think I'm missing one. I don't know which one I'm missing. I got that one. Um, am I, I think I'm missing one, but I don't know where. I need to get up. Which one did I miss? Oh, there! Over there! Over there! I see! I see one! Dun -na -dun -na -na -dun -na -na. I'm still missing one? I'm missing this one! There we go! I got confused. I'm just like, wait, I, I did it. Why isn't it... I did it. All the lights are on. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Oh, I just noticed all the big ones are also lit up. Okay, here we go. Wait, are we in China? 
Oh, for a minute, I thought those were China flags for some reason. We're at the Museum of Redstone. Cool. Whoa. Okay, let's find the challenge in here Some, The challenge. Oh. Welcome to the Ma Museum of Redstone. Here we have all sorts of marvelous mechanisms, from the super simple to the devish, dev, devishly difficult. Unfortunately, the museum hasn't been looked after well, and we need your help to bring the power back on. Fix all 16 of our redstone machines to light up the redstone dust lamp and claim your reward. The first machines may seem easy to fix, but the further from the redstone dust of the lamp, the harder they get. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's the reward, isn't it? Okay, so that, there's our redstone lamp. Okay. Button, so we have a... Is that really all I have to do? Huh? Oh, I know what to do. Hang on, I'm gonna collect that so I can do it with the broken bow that I think is gonna break in one shot. Yep, it broke in one shot and I missed. It broke in one shot and I missed. Okay, there. That was easy. Okay, the f first few bottom ones are on. Levers. That's easy. Oh, what's this? No, 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 go back, go back. Go back. No, go back. No, 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 no. There, that's good. Okay, that lamp's not on. Oh, daylight sensors? Light sensor, how am I supposed to do this? I don't have anything to use. Daylight detectors detect the brightness of the sun and will output a signal based on this brightness. They can be connected to a redstone lamp, and with some clever tinkering, they can be made to turn on the lamp automatically at night and turn it off in the morning. During the morning, it's always good to save energy. Wait, I think I know what it is. There we go. I have to click on it. Okay, that's on. Trip or why? Trip trip wire hooks i need to put something on coal i think i might need all of this i think it's not gonna be okay let's just, just toss them all <laughs> there so now that is on okay this is gonna get a bit complex all right, I literally just. Oh my god. Uh... Okay, now what? Do I I need something? Something in the chest? No. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one because this one looks easier. Yep, there we go. Okay, this one. Is there any button? Cause this one looks way complexer than I thought. Buttons. Oh my god! Is that rainbow sheep? Hang on, I'm gonna be there in a second. Okay, how am I? What? I supposed to spam click this? There we go! I did it! I did it! Now I have to activate the others. How am I supposed to activate the others? I don't know. Ow. Do I press it again? Yeah, there we go. And then press it one more time. No, no, those two turned off. How am I supposed to turn them all on? Then that one turns off. There we go. Okay, I just took a few clicks. 
Okay, did I get them all? Oh no, there's still machines on the other side. No. Oh. <laughs> that was easy. What was I like? Oh. Okay, which one do I have to press? There. I think I have to put something in there. Cool, just take one stack and... Okay, now, do I tinker with this? Now what do I do? Um, hang on, compactor one. Compactor inventory detection. A compactor placed next to a block with an inventory, such as a chest or a hopper, will output a signal based on how full the inventory is. Fill up the chest enough to turn the lamp. Okay, to turn on the lamp, okay. So I'm gonna need, I'm, I'm gonna take three more snacks. Oh, I think I have to place all of them in. Oh wait, did they, wait. Oh, they come back. Do I have to fill the whole thing? Not yet, not there yet. I think I have to fill the whole entire thing. No, not yet. There we go, it's on. Okay, that one took a while. Oh, there's a... Hang on a second. Okay, uh... Okay, there's zombie eggs. There we go. Oh, is that on? That one's on. Oh, this one needs more, doesn't it? Yeah, and then this one. So that's just a normal pressure plate, so you only need one. This one is a light one, so you need a few, but then this one is a heavy one, so you need like a lot of zombies in this one. Gonna keep spamming it. I'm just gonna spam click it. Oh my god, it needs to be so heavy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was an easy one. Um. Uh, this one's confusing me a little bit. Are some of still still left off? go i had to turn them all on to turn them all off that was a bit weird hmm then there okay and then okay that was really hard i think this is gonna get even harder oh there's a there's a lever right there uh oh my god i don't know anything about redstone uh, slime blocks. Slime blocks. Sticky pistons can push and pull one block connected to it. When a slime block is connected to a piston, it will also push and block any block connected to to it, except obsidian and bedrock. Flip the levers at the base of the three pistons to make the redstone signal flow through the device and reach the redstone lamp. You may want to jump on top of the device to get a better view. Wait, hang on. Was that the end? Okay. Yeah, I do want to get on top of the device, so. Uh, okay, so let's try. Okay. Uh, where's the other lever? Yay! Okay, that one. Okay, I got every single one, but this one. Hang on, let's read what this says. Compactor 2. 
Hopper Inventory Fullness Detection. Here we have a hopper and a compactor detecting how full it is. There is also a bit of redstone logic thrown in here, but don't worry too much about that. The compactor is detecting how full the hopper is, so you need to add some items to create an output. Not enough items will, and the signal will be too weak. Too many items and the signal will go too far and disable the redstone clock. Okay, I've been tweaking around and I still don't get it. Guess I'll just do that? Or did I miss something? I missed something. Hmm? Two of them turned off. Oh, the bow doesn't last. No. Okay, why well, am I? Okay, there we go. But right, now I have to collect them because I just wasted three. It was okay. And this one, what happened over here? The coal disappeared. Okay, okay, what's missing now? There, at the end. I don't know, those are three, those three lamps. Hang on, I think on the other end I missed it. There. The zombies disappear. Huh? Where'd all the zombies go? Yay, I did it. Okay, what's it? Oh. Yeah, I think now there's a fight. There has to be a fight. Okay, I'm gonna head to the mob gardens. And figure out... What did I miss? So, go to the vault. And find where I started. So, there's definitely a fight. Ouch! Why did I just set myself on fire? Uh, I'm on fire. Okay, no, never mind. Okay, I missed something. I missed the mini game here, but I'm not sure what. Um, okay, so what's the challenge here? I need to find the challenge. Maybe I have to swim to the top of that. How do I go down there? <gasps> there! Is this a mini game? Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Oh my god, it spawns this stuff! I'm running. I don't care. I'm, I'm running. Ah, what am I supposed to do? No, that's a dead end. I think this is like supposed to be a maze. It's a monster maze. Enderman. And never look Enderman at the eye and run! Oh my god, there's the Enderman. I don't get it. What, am I, what was I supposed to do in here? Haha. <laughs> I don't know, what was I supposed to do? Is there like some goal? I'm not really sure about that. Okay, I think that's it.
Now it's time for a quick tour of the map. So, 10 years of Minecraft. That is an amazing golden apple. And those trees. I'm wondering how they make these like giant blocks. Here's the mob gardens. And the field of mob eggs. Spawn eggs. This is just gorgeous. And then the enchanting area and the academy. And then the, the activity. And then it's like the same thing. Then there's more golden apples. Then the biomes. I'm guessing that's the desert. The ocean. Forests. Snowy tages. The snowy areas. And the mountains. Or is that the mountains? And then the snowy areas. Then the redstone museum. And then the activities. And then last but not least, the vault. I love those diamond blocks. And then on the edge of each of these things, <laughs> at each of these things, at the end of these, there are at least, oh, hi, Steven, hi, Alex. At the end, oh, <laughs> at, okay, that's actually really funny. Skeleton versus Steve. Hmm? Oh, this is ten on it. And then there's Alex. At the there are six apple golden apples at the end of each and they have a little parkour inside, which is super cool. And then the chest. But I'd rather but I want you guys to find it out. Oh! Diamond chest plate. And that's the end of the tour. I hope you enjoy this map as much as I did. And I'll see you next time. Bye.